Well, <coughs> this has turned out to be a tale of two halves, really. Taking out the anchoats the other day, because I believed that fitting the Atlas bipod was helping my groups. Now, looking at these results, I think it has definitely tightened it up. So for the long range match, which is the groups on the uh, left hand side of the piece of paper, we've averaged for 25 rounds, we've averaged four, three, four, six, so under half an inch, but I did exclude that, which I heard go subs, uh, not subsonic, supersonic. Until that point, they were all in there, and then the wind caught me. The wind conditions, I uh, had a tailwind between five and seven o'clock, and gusting from three to seven mile an hour. And at 50 meters, it really wasn't hurting me much. So, over this side, on the right, we went to the uh, flat nose match, SK again. And on this, I managed to turn in an average of 0.3945. So, I think the Atlas really has helped the groups then. I thought, well, it's got a tailwind, it's looking good. Let's go to 100 and see what happens. Well, this is where the wheels fell off. This is my long range match. No, sorry, the flat nose. As you can see, the group on the right turned in quite a respectable uh, 1.0180. So I was quite happy with that. Unfortunately, these two sort of groups blinded to get binded together. Um, and they were, as you can see, around a two inch mark, so, but all shifting with the wind. The horizontal, from what I can measure of it, I reckon I'm staying around an inch on the horizontal. So I think the rifle could be bedding in, more practice, I think it could be getting there. Then we went on the long range match, and again nothing really special um, not too bad on this one on the vertical dispersion but the winds caught it don't know what happened here really don't I've including those two the group is two zero two zero five but if you call those flyers like some people do that brings my group size down to point eight eight three five at a hundred meters and I managed to get a bit of a lull in the wind there. So I was quite happy with that little bit. So a bit of practice. And over here again, the wheels. I thought I'd have another go. But trying to read the wind when it was behind you. If it went from one side to the other, it just, as you can see, this was a sort of spread of wind, nearly three inches, and a bit of vertical to boot. But here, I caught the wind just right um, ended up with just over an inch one zero nine seven so I think the rifle has got the capacity or the capability to put in inch groups at a hundred meters whether I've got the, <laughs> the capability is another story but practice makes perfect and I really want to get my hands on some R50 and give that a go but anyway, there's the little update from the previous video, wondering whether I got lucky. But I think the bipod has definitely helped me close up my groups. The gun could be running in from new. Mm, it's probably had five or six hundred rounds through it now. Um, I think the owner's manual say a thousand rounds to break it in. Something like that. Or thereabouts. Or clean every hundred up to the first thousand anyway. So real life results shooting prone uh, off an atlas bipod and 1761 hawk frontier scope first focal plane 5 to 25 uh, atlas monopod on the back and sh shot prone in the field in real life conditions so hopefully i'll get a spell with no wind and if I can turn in three groups like that out of 30, I'll be very happy bunny. Well, 
even better if it's slightly tighter. Anyway, there we go, signing out for now.